Guess what we're doing today? So St. Patrick's Day is, um, yeah, I know, is right around the corner. So we thought we would do another fun St. Patrick's themed dog treat, Irish themed dog treat. We have a bunch more of these. I will link them up above in the cards and down in the video description below. Today we are going to make quote unquote beer for dogs. Now before we even start, don't feed your dogs beer. Beer is bad for dogs. Hops are really bad for dogs. We are making simulated beer for dogs. We're gonna make something that kind of looks like beer and have a little bit of fun with it. But in reality, it's just chicken stock. That's all it is. <laughs> so we have all of our ingredients here. We're gonna get everything ready. I am choosing to make today's treat in my instant pot. You can also use a slow cooker. You can simmer it on the stove whatever way you want to do it. But we're going to go ahead and make some beer for dogs. I found some bottles. These were actually ginger ale bottles with twist off tops. So I took the labels off of them, took the twist off tops, washed the bottles out. That's what we're going to put it in. What do you think? Is it going to be fun? Is this going to be fun? All right, if you guys are new here, this is Memphis, this is Shelby. My name is Jess. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell, turn on all notifications so you know whenever we put up new videos, let's make some beer for dogs. So this is actually a very simple recipe. Again, as I said, it is basically chicken stock. I am going to be using about two pounds of bone in chicken thighs. Now, as you can tell, I did take the skin off. I choose to do that because I don't really think the dogs need the excess fat in the stock. So I took most of the skin off. You can choose to leave it on. That's up to you. If you do at the end of it, you're definitely going to want to skim the fat off the top. It'll form like that weird layer. Then we are going to be adding about two stalks of celery and about two carrots. I already have them cut up because I'm going to be chopping them in my little KitchenAid chopper. This thing is so cool. I will also put some Amazon affiliate links to these things down below. And then the only seasoning we are going to add today is a little bit of coriander. I don't want the color to be too off, so I'm not gonna add like basil and some of the other things that I have added in the past. I'm gonna leave those out. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the chicken, put it in the pot, and then cut up those veggies. I guess we could see, what do you think? Would you like some celery? What do you think of that? You would eat the whole thing, wouldn't you? You would just, you would eat it all. You can't eat it all. You don't need that much celery. Hold on, let me cut, let me cut you a piece. So we know you'll eat it, but Shelby only likes celery the way I like celery, with peanut butter on it. Good stuff. Memphis is like, I'll eat it, just give me a piece of it. Nice and crunchy. Shelby's like, I'll eat more of that if there's peanut butter. What about a carrot? She's like, you are not fooling me with these vegetables. And he's like, oh, hold on, let me break you off a piece. Memphis says, carrot? Yes, please. You just don't like carrots, do you? Carrots and peanut butter? It doesn't sound good, but let's try it. Carrot with peanut butter? But the trick is, does she actually eat it? You chewed it up? It? All right, she ate it. All right, we're gonna throw this in the Instant Pot and chop up these veggies. Ready, set, chop! See, I chopped them up nice and fine. What do you think? And then we're just gonna pour them in here with the chicken. Next, we are going to add about three quarts of water. Now, I will say this again, we are not adding anything really extra to this. I'm not adding salt and pepper. Dogs don't really need that. This is very basic and bland, really. So we're gonna go ahead and add three quarts of water to the pressure cooker. Mm, I'm not making that for you. We can totally do this. And last but not least, we're gonna sprinkle in some coriander, probably about a half of a tablespoon. What do you think? Also, if you're using an Instapot, make sure you don't overfill it. Very, very important, do not overfill it. Okay, we now have everything added to our pot. We are going to pressure cook this. Every pressure cooker I've seen has like different instructions, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it to pressure, we're gonna pressure cook it for 45 minutes. That is the next step. We're gonna make the house smell amazing. What do you think? You ready to make the house smell amazing? She's like, I'm ready to go outside. Do you wanna go outside? Okay, let me let me start this first. All right, now that thing's got a 
do its magical thing. If you guys don't have one of these, these things are awesome. I've made some amazing food in it. It makes me want to start making videos over at the youtube.com slash snowdogs cooking again. Might happen. Might happen. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You ready to go outside? All right, let's go outside while your food is making. So once the 45 minutes has passed, we're going to go ahead and turn off our Instapot and we are going to let this vent naturally. For those of you that have an Instapot, you can like turn this to vent the steam really fast. We're just going to let it vent on its own for about a half an hour at least. You can hear it making the noise. Once that pretty much stops, then we're going to go ahead and open it. Ooh. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the chicken out of here and then I'm going to strain this so that all the little chunks don't end up in the bottle. But don't worry, we're not going to waste all this stuff. I'm actually going to take all the meat off the chicken and use it as a food topper for the dogs. So I'm just going to take this little strainer and I'm slowly going to scoop it into here and strain it. So I took the chicken out so I can debone it and put that aside so I can put it on their food later. I strained everything. I could technically keep the carrots and celery and also use that as a food topper, but I'm not actually going to because I know Shelby doesn't like it. And that is our beer for dogs. <laughs> now we're going to let this cool so any of the fat can rise to the top and we can take that off. What do you think? Huh? Does it smell amazing in here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Even Shelby's like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Well, it's really hot, but I can give you a piece of chicken. Would you like a piece of chicken? Would you like a piece of chicken? Good stuff. All right. We're going to let this cool before we bottle it. So while that's cooling, I'm going to get my bottles ready. And again, you don't really have to put it in bottles. You can put it in a jar, you can put it in a container, you can leave it in whatever you cool it in. But this is for photo and for show. I found some little uh, gift tag labels. I colored them green and I just wrote dog beer on them. You could probably print some out if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and tape these to the bottle. What do you think, Miss Shelby? You got to wait for the stuff to cool, honey. I'm sorry. All right, bottles are ready. Now we just gotta wait for that stuff to cool. All right, are you ready? Are you ready to check it out? <laughs> uh, so we let our stock cool, but I didn't let it cool so that the fat would get solid on top. I actually used a turkey baster to get just the good stuff out from the bottom. That's how much we have left. And we have simulated dog beer. You guys have been smelling this all day. You want to try it, don't you? I'm going to give them each a little bit just to drink it, uh, but normally I'll, it'll be something that I'll just put on their food as an added food topper. Would you like to try some beer? Are you old enough in dog years to try beer? How about you? You're both old enough in dog years to try beer, right? I know you're actually going to get to try this after smelling it all day long. Let's do it. All right, now they get to try them. Since they can't cheers them, we're going to cheers them for them. Okay, here. Sit. Okay, cheers. Go. Cheers! <laughs> oh, that must be good. You can try it too. It's people friendly too. So that, I think, uh, I think is a win. I think they're both almost done. You guys are going to get chicken stock beer drunk. All right, you guys. Well, that is all we have for today's video. As I said, if you want to see more of our St. Patrick's Day treat videos, there will be a link up in the cards and down in the video description below. Leave us some comments. Let us know if you're going to try making this for your dogs. And let us know if you have any suggestions for future treats. Apparently, you can clink them together on your own. Just push them together. Did you get some on the carpet? We'll have to clean that up with the spot bot. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys, as always, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Was it was it good, Shelby? Was it delicious? She's like, yeah, can I have more? You can have more later. I'll put some on your dinner. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Got to the snow, got to the snow, got to the snow,